Fourteen story on the gateless gate from the Zen flesh, Zen bones written by Paul Reps. In our school yesterday, there was a fight between two girls, and the one girl caught the hair of another girl. Both are in the college, and she went and beat her on the hand. A nice big mark came. And I asked, what was the reason? And I was joking to them, telling, oh, she loves to kiss you on your hand. And maybe she, you couldn't go to Tirupati, so she tried to pull your hair to find out whether it's possible it comes out. But that's a different story. But I asked them, what is the reason? Reason is one of their dress they are given to another person without the permission. <laughs> that's why Mother Teresa kept on telling the nuns that, only three sets of dresses allowed. That too, it should be uniform dress. One to use, one to wear, one to dry. Only three. And Rakum School followed that. But recently, we allowed colored dresses because a lot of people donate a lot of good dresses, colored dresses to my children. Instead of throwing it out, I thought, let them also have it. But having too many dresses confuses you. You become a slave on the, on the too many things. You get attracted. And the moment you go to a shop, if a lady is trying to buy a sari and she's trying to check 250 saris, you can easily buy her. You know, she's a slave of color and attraction. Anything, all that glitters is not the goal. She can get trapped in that all the glittering because she or he loves the glittering. Here the two people fought for forgetting whose dress it is. Guruji has brought those dresses through the people. And you should give it with love and affection. Whenever people come and ask me, my daughter's wedding, but uh, the boy is asking for a watch. I may remove my watch and give <laughs> for a chain before somebody donated one chain. I gave to my chain. Then they said, there is no dress. I ran inside. I took my pants and shirt and gave it to them. Nowadays, my kids are locking it up so that to next day when I go out, they shouldn't see me going out with a dirty lungi or something like that. Some of you are not supposed to go like that. Why you are holding on? The moment you hold on, only diseases are thy name. Nansen saw the monks of the eastern and western horse fighting over a cat. He seized the cat and told the monks, if any of you say a good word, you can save the cat. Why are you fighting over a cat? You should love over the cat. <laughs> Cats or whatever is there in the ashram, in the house, is a love object. You shouldn't fight over that. You, you shouldn't possess telling this is mine and that is yours. And in that, you get destroyed. If any of you say a good word, you can save the cat. No answer. So Nansen boldly cut the cat in two pieces. Means there's no need. What, what use is there for a dead body? You don't fight over a dead body. It starts stinking. So let us not have that. Let us throw it out. That was the idea trying to tell them. You have come here to make positive and negative. That is the good and the bad. Whatever be, you don't even uh, create good and the bad. You make sure that two joins together beautifully. Together was strength. The family sits together, each together, prays together, goes together. So they try to sit together, create a beautiful light. You don't carry whether I am a senior or a junior. Everybody has come to this ashram to serve Guruji. Everybody has come to this ashram to find out what best they can give to help this organization grow, not to grab something out of this organization. The moment you grab, somebody else is grabbing you. You are grabbing because you have been grabbed, you allowed others to be grabbed. Your mindset is such, allow it. If you hold it, it runs, you keep it open and stay. You are holding it out and every time you found it, it is running away from you. So you are trying to again grab another, 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 drop that one. That is all your problems. You use the term, I don't have time. No one answered, so Nancy boldly cut the cat in two pieces. Who said they have no time? When you don't have time, you lose your health. And when you don't have time, you are in the hospital, in the ICU. That time, you'll pray to all the gods, then no gods can help you out. 
Your health is very important. Practicing physical exercise is very, very important. Those who don't do physical exercise, you are a dead body. Do not make any contact with them. Because they are dying. A dying man catches hold on to the last straw. They are good for the <coughs> hospitals. That evening, Joshua returned and Anson told him about this. Joshua removed his sandals and placing them on his head, walked out. Nansen said, if you have been there, you could have saved the cat.